work out the following integral. The integral of e to the x minus e to the minus x all squared dx. So that means before we do this, we need to square this. So we should square, uh, write e to the minus x as 1 over e to the x. And then use a minus b all squared is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So that becomes uh, e to the x all squared, which is a, plus 2 times a, which is e to the x times b, which is 1 over e to the x, plus b squared, which is going to be 1 over e squared. That This is a plus here with respect to x. Uh, before we integrate, let's just tidy it up a little bit. So the integral of a to the m to the n is a m n, so it becomes e to the 2x. Those will cancel out minus 2, and we just get 1 over e to the 2x dx. So we can rewrite the last bit the same, but just write it now e to the minus 2x dx. Now integrate. Now d dx of e to the 2x is 2e to the 2x, so when we integrate this, we're going to need to put a half in front, because when we differentiate back, we get a 2, 2 divided by 2, that disappears, we get back to what we started to. Integral of 2 is minus 2x, same idea here. d dx of e to the minus 2x is minus 2e to the minus 2x. We need to make the sign plus, sorry, we're going to need to make the sign minus. If we think about it, minus 2 times minus a half gives you plus 1, which is what we, when we go backwards, so we differentiate back if we get back to that, plus a c. Uh, there is a common factor of a half, which will make that a 4, minus 4x, minus e to the minus 2x plus c. So there's been a video to show you how to integrate e to the x minus e to the minus x all squared. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.